back then, I didn't know. I didn't know that defeating one wasn't the end. I also didn't know the truth about Zero and me. Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Guard 3. I'm your mad host, and... In the last episode, we made it to we made it to Lady One's abode and said farewell to our to our faithful disciples. In this episode, we continue on alone to confront the remaining of our sisters and remove all who's left. So yes, we have ourselves a good old few people to murder as well murder through here. After all, these are the last of Lady Lady One's Lady One's men. The only thing is defending up defending her outside of potentially Gabriel. Because let's be fair. I'm still in this! Me too! He isn't gone yet. So, in the meantime, let's start clearing. Let's start clearing shop, eh? There's also just a lot of dudes to deal, clean up in general. I prefer to keep as much health on me as possible, because you know. For the whole thing, I'm gonna probably need it. Because also, I will inform you guys now. This is the last verse. I should probably take this time to recover while I get the chance. While I have the chance. This is not all we have to deal with. We still have quite a few floors to reach. Which means even more of Lady One's men to, well, murder. It's been quite a long journey, I will say. We've been dealing with quite a good many people. So many lives we've taken in the sake of revenge. Not really revenge, but the sake of murder, really. That's the accursed intoner. Stand strong! Kill her! Kill! I can't do it. That woman is a monster! Belay that talk! Just kinda dealing with the cannonman while I get the chance. There's a man down over here, too! Attack! Sacrifice your own men if you me! All that matters is Lady One's safety! Doesn't seem to be weakened. Damned it, Toner. Get away! Get away from me! Calm down. You're out of formation. You probably also knows the soldiers a lot more rat or a lot more rack this time around, or more so than normal. She's breaking through! Stop her, no matter what! For Lady One! Ah! Enough already! We're wasting good soldiers' lives! Yeah! 
least some of these soldiers are kind of understanding that it's kind of a waste for me. Waste of them just kind of flinging themselves at me, but... Unfortunately, it's a little... Too, it's too little too late for them now. We've gone too far after all. We've killed. We've spilled too much blood just to turn away. To turn away fr from dealing with Lady One, and even then, I don't think even she would allow us to keep on living after what we've what all we've done. <sighs> I haven't said much about the Nutanas, haven't I? Well, Lady One herself, as I mentioned before, she, much like her sisters, has something growing constantly. For her, is her many is her is all of her senses growing much all the more acute. And of course, if this keeps up, Lady One's in trouble. Protect the cathedral. Don't let Zero inside. And of course, as we cl as we climb, there are less and less troops to kind of get in our way. As we slaughter the last, as we slaughter the last re remnants of humanity, all for the sake of killing a f killing a f handful of sisters. But these are loyal men, loyal to the end, and loyal to a fault. They do what they do. They do what they must for their intoners, for they are enraptured by the power of the song. What a cruel and unusual fate that must be. There's a checkpoint and our last and these are the only you know, the last chests of this chapter. In three, two, one. Let's begin the final showdown then, shall we? What you reading? Ah, zero. It's a record of life in the Cathedral City. A record of life? Zero. Don't you think it's strange? This city is said to be the origin of all magic. Spells were crafted here that even now are far beyond our abilities. Where did this knowledge go? When did we lose it? And what happened to the people who once possessed it? I thought if I studied that, I might be able to learn the purpose of intoners. Of... us. Only an idiot tries to learn about a bunch of shit she doesn't need to know. Or did you not know that? That's rather close-minded. Though, in the sense that we cannot ever truly know everything, well, I suppose I agree. Whatever. I'm about to kill you anyway. That's all that matters. So predictable. Come to me, Gabriel. You all right? Uh, yeah, but that guy's strong. He's really, really strong. Zero, get on! Let's beat him together! I know how this goes, my sister. 
Not even you can recover from a mortal dragon wound. Then I guess I just have to kill you first. You and your demon dragon. Huh? What's that mean? It means she enhanced her dragon to make it better at fighting you. But when you do that... Smack in the mouth, don't work. I don't know what will. So the fight with Gabriel, then. He's a really hard. He is not easy, but it, it's as you would expect at this point. Given he is by far one of the hardest adversaries we have encountered throughout this entire throughout our journey. Which would make sense, given he is a dr dragon, especially enhanced to deal with, especially enhanced into a demon in order to, you know, fight. And also doesn't help that Gabriel in general is just a very strong opponent to fight as a whole. I know there is a way to deal with, to actually like physically harm him. For the life of me, I don't remember right now. Really? You feel bad for the fucker that's trying to kill you? So, yeah, this... Uh, we've gotten a few hits on them, but at that point, I think it's mostly just been sort of blind luck. Also... More or less on the strategy of try to hit him in the mouth when he has his when he's more open and available. Also, ow, Gabriel, please stop hurting. Stop hurting my ch ow. Eh. Stop hurting my dragon, please. Does anything hurt him? Thankfully now we have a chance to actually kind of deal some damage to him, so... Which is only for a brief that brief moment when he no longer has that glow upon him. Which is more or less causing a backfire to him, so... For the time being, it's more or less we're just needing to kind of survive until we get that opening again. Also, it's still, to me, it still surprises me of just how big and imposing, like, Gabriel still is. Even now, of all times, like, even though we're on a dragon, he is still the clearly bigger specimen between the two of us. Ow! Gabriel, please. Ow! Come on, Gabriel. Stop hitting me. Stop hurting me! Come on, Gabriel! Roast alive, Gabriel. That's all you need to do. It'll be over soon. It'll be over very shortly, like now. Your memory. At least you'll still 
You know, right, Zero? Why dragons can be reborn? Because they get a final wish. Enough! Just hurry up and do! Do it already! A dragon's wish is a deep and powerful thing. So now, I'm gonna make mine. And I'm gonna kill that dragon. What are you saying? If I use my life to wish it, then I can make it happen. Isn't that great? No. No. No, no, no! I am not letting you do this! No! It's okay, Zero. If I lose my memory, I won't be me anymore anyway. No! No, no! Please, no! And besides, I had a lot of fun, Zero. I mean, being with you. Mikhail, no, you can't! I won't let you! <laughs> Look at that. You finally used my name. My name. God damn it, dummy. Stop repeating things. One who's ready to sacrifice everything. I will protect Gabriel, even if, even if I forsake my life as an intoner. Come for me, Zero! Die. You comprehend nothing! You destroy the peace we created. You kill your own flesh and blood. And then, you think... You think you can save the world? You done running your mouth yet, Mikhail? Why wasn't it me? Mikhail. Mikhail is still out of future. God damn it all! Farewell, Gabriel. I 
Yeah, it is. <sighs> Mikhail. It's over. Now I... But how? Brother. I'm one's brother. Brother? That's impossible. You wouldn't know. You only had your five sisters. But in the same way you created your sisters, your sister one created me. I was a failsafe in case you managed to kill her. I was her final weapon. See the sword? It's made from a dragon's fang. That means it can kill an intoner, right? I see. You have no one to blame but yourself, murderer! I don't blame anyone. I just want... to kill the Intoners. All of them. You think after all this, I intended to... survive? The world doesn't... work that way. <laughs> At last, it's all over. Mikhail! She's dead. Zero is dead. One. Do you hear me? I finished off the intoners, just like you said. But what should I do now? How am I supposed to live in a world that lacks the Intoner's protection? One.
And that, everyone, was Dragon Guard 3. But this is not the end, everyone. Not by a long shot. But for now, I think this will be a good time to pause. Not, for, not to end the series, but to take a small break away from it. The reason I explain I am saying this is because there's there's a lot in the background I have to do for the series. A lot of things I have planned that I want to showcase. Of course, this does require me time to prepare, so I will have to do that. So, with this very somber note, this path has ended. Zero got what she wanted. The intoners to die, including herself. The world is lost without the protection of the intoners. Mikhail died. But, the, but this doesn't have to be the only path. Perhaps in another scenario, things could have been much different. But that will be for another time. For now, I have been your mad host. And this has been Drakengard 3. And I will see you all later at a later time. I will leave you with the rest of these credits. And farewell.